cow's feet and broad beans round stewed ingredients. 2 LBS cow's feet 1 half of a pound broad beans or pre-cooked canned butter beans or broad beans 4 stacks of stallion dice 2 and 1 half medium onions dice 2 carrots dice 1 half sweet pepper dice for small tomatoes dice 12 garlic cloves 1 green pepper scotch bonnet or real chili pepper 1 ripe pepper scotch bonnet or real chili pepper ginger cut to size of your thumb 6 pieces of cloves 2 tablespoons of sea salt 1 tablespoon of parsley dried or fresh 1 tablespoon of basil dried or fresh 1 half tablespoon of marjoram dried or fresh 1 half tablespoon of rosemary dice 1 teaspoon nutmeg grated 1 teaspoon of pimento seeds 2 tablespoons of browning thyme tie fresh pieces together the size of 2 fingers 1 and 1 half tablespoon white vinegar 1 fourth cup coconut oil or olive oil 1 fourth cup ketchup at the end 1 cho cho dice instructions 1 wash the broad beans and soak for 15 minutes or more after that pressure cooks the soaked beans with 4 cups of waters gauge the stove on for it will take 20 minutes to pressure cook once it's cooked 2 remove the water Cover and put aside until you are ready for it. 2. Strip, wash, and dice all the seasonings, then put together in a bowl. Keep the coconut oil and the browning separated. 3. Now put to heat a pressure cooker pot, add the oil. After 2 minutes with the stove gauged on 8, add the cow's feet, and all the seasonings, next the browning. Stir in the ingredients, now cover for 4 minutes by using a regular pot lid. 4. Next add 4 cups of boiled hot water. Stir in. This time covers the pressure cooker pot with the pressure cooker's lid correctly. Once it starts to whistle, gauge the stove on low flame. Note, start the timing when it starts to whistle. Allow to pressure for 2 hours. 5. Remove the lid once it's cooled. Add the cooked broad beans. Drain the water from the can. Cook the cow's feet for 2 minutes with the stove gauge on 6. 6. Finally add the ketchup. Then cook for 2 minutes. Serve with rice and peas or brown rice alongside vegetables. This is serving for a family of 5 persons. All the meals are very easy on the stomach when it's prepared with natural herbal. Hey, this is broad beans. I've bone up the broad beans. First, wash it. Wash it, wash it, wash it. From the water and add it. Let's remove it from the water like that. Put to boil six cups of water. We're gonna pressure, we're gonna pressure this. We're gonna pressure the broad beans. Start timing once it starts to whistle. Strip four stalks of scallion. Strip and wash. Wash four small tomatoes. Two and a half, two and a half diced onions. Two carrots. Cut half of sweet pepper, clean it and cut, don't dice it, 12 cloves of garlic, 12 cloves of garlic, 1 green pepper and 1 ripe pepper, and a piece, a piece of a piece of ginger as big as your thumb. Clean it and strip it. And six cloves. About six cloves. 
one tablespoon and one half of sea salt, one tablespoon of dried parsley, one tablespoon of dried basil or fresh basil, yeah. one tablespoon of dried parsley or fresh parsley, half tablespoon of marjoram, dried marjoram, half tablespoon of rosemary, dried or fresh. Um, dice this, dice this up. One teaspoon of grated teaspoon, one teaspoon of grated nutmeg, one teaspoon of pimento seed, pimento seed, all purpose they call it. We're gonna put it in all as this. Two tablespoons of browning. A piece of fresh thyme, about this much, about your two finger put together that much. If you can tie this and put it in, dice with everything dice, just put it in a plate. If you have a piece of dasheen, just peel it and dice it and put it in. If you have a piece of chocha, you can peel that, dice it and put it in. You can use any kind of powder. No, not powder. You can use any kind of natural herb for meat. But so far, everything what we have here is good enough. Okay, these took 20 minutes. All I want you to do now is to drain it in a plate. remove the water <clears throat> okay today we're gonna cook cow foot this is two pound of cow foot cow's foot add quarter cup of oil add a quarter cup of oil and put the flame on eight. After about two minutes or till you see a little smoke, add add the cow foot. Add all the ingredients. Add it and cover this for about three minutes. Now we're gonna add it. I'm gonna add six cups of water. Six cups of boiling water. Once it starts to whistle, turn the stove. We're gonna slow cook it. The gauge on your stove that says low. We're gonna slow cook this. So put the stove on low, almost, almost half, but low. Between low and half. Took. See how tender it is? It's ready. So now we're gonna add broad beans. Let's make it soak in this. let this simmer for about so it took two hours to pressure so we're gonna cover this 
I must let it simmer for a little while. We're going to add some ketchup. We're going to add a quarter cup of ketchup. Now, after three minutes, you put the stove on and four. Just over and four, add a quarter cup of ketchup. This is an old trick. I saw my mom do it, so I'm doing the same thing. So just after three minutes, you see how thick it's getting. So it's ready. You can turn off. Cow's foot and broad bean brown stewed. foot with broad bean and boiled to green bananas. Brown stewed cow's foot with broad bean and boiled green bananas. Brown stewed cow's foot with boiled green banana. Cow's foot Broad bean, brown stewed with brown rice. Brown stewed cow's foot with broad bean and brown rice. 